Hey everyone, and welcome back to Cruising with Matthew. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of our inside cabin on board p Cruises Ventura, so I really hope you enjoy this video. Before I start, I want to highlight today's sponsor, My Kind of Cruise. They are the world's first and only mobile app where you can search, compare, and book across a range of cruise lines. I've actually booked with them for my April 2023 cruise on board the fantastic P&O Britannia, and I was super impressed with their high standards of customer service and good prices. If you want to check them out yourself, click on the link in the description below. Now, on with the video. During our seven night cruise on board P&O's Ventura, we booked a standard inside cabin on a saver fare. As a result, shortly before our cruise, we were allocated a PB grade inside cabin on A deck, cabin number A332. So let's take a look around. For our cruise, the cabin was arranged into two twin beds, although it can be converted into a king size double bed. As you can see, this cabin also features two additional Pullman beds, which, when not in use, are folded to one side of the cabin. One gripe with these Pullman beds was the fact that they didn't fold into the ceiling like other ships I've been on, such as Iona. As a result, it did take up some space. Additionally, you could actually end up knocking into them when you sit up in bed, so just something to be aware of. However, once we got used to these, we didn't find them to be much of an issue, and the beds that we stayed in were super comfortable, and I slept really well every night of the cruise. Adjacent to each bed is a small bedside table, which offered a good amount of storage. On top of each was also a bedside lamp. Directly opposite the beds was a dressing area, as well as a small television. We didn't use the television all that much during our cruise, although it was nice to turn on in a morning so we could go and have a look at the bridge cam so we had an idea as to what the weather was like. Now the dressing area itself included those all important tea and coffee making facilities, some biscuits as well as a few glasses. Underneath there was a decent sized mini fridge and this helped keep our drinks nice and cool too. You also got a large desk area, which included your own telephone should you need to make any calls during your cruise, as well as yet more cupboard space and shelves running down the right hand side too. A really good design feature in this area was the use of mirrors, as it really helped make the cabin feel more spacious than it actually was. Stepping away from the bedroom, we encounter the wardrobe area. This had a decent amount of hanging space, as well as a good amount of shelving space above, featuring those all-important life jackets. Next to the open wardrobe is a large shelving unit, with ample amounts of storage space. This also holds a small safe if you want to store valuable items such as passports and things like that. Next up is the bathroom, which is compact yet functional. It has a good amount of storage space for all your toiletries in the sink area and nearby shelving units. The shower itself, although a little compact, featured white company shampoo and body wash, which was always appreciated. However, the fact it had a shower curtain was a bit of a letdown. I do wish that in a future refit, these cabins would get a glass shower screen fitted, but either way, it wasn't the end of the world. I really enjoyed staying in this cabin for the week we were on board. Although the shower curtain and the fact that the Pullman beds don't fold into the roof were a slight inconvenience, I'd happily stay in this cabin again. It offers tons of storage space and didn't feel small or claustrophobic in the slightest. Inside cabins such as this one are a fantastic way to cruise on a budget. Although a window slash balcony are always appreciated, we spent most of our time during this cruise exploring the ports that we visited as well as relaxing in Ventura's public spaces. So as a result, we only used our cabin to get changed, shower and sleep in. So we wouldn't have benefited much from a more expensive grade of cabin and the money that we saved meant that we were able to enjoy a few more cocktails in the various bars on board, which we definitely appreciated. Ultimately, it depends what you want to do during your cruise, and the benefit of ships like Ventura is the fact that there is a cabin style to suit every person's budget and style. 
Either way, I really hope you all found this video useful and given you an idea as to what you can expect when booking an inside cabin on board Ventura. Thank you all so much for watching this video and thank you to My Kind of Cruise for sponsoring me. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe because it's always appreciated. And if you want to know more about Cruising with Matthew, then take a look at my other social media sites. The links are in the description below. I hope that you're all doing well with everything at the moment, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. So until next time, this is Cruising with Matthew, and thank you so much for watching.